Hello then guys, Matt here from MJ Automotive and today we have a 2017 Ford Focus ST Mark, this is a Mark 3.5 and it's a diesel one uh, very similar to the car I own myself same colour, same wheels, same engine this one's just a bit newer, a bit lower mileage uh, so yeah, what we're going to be doing is the, the service on it uh, I've got genuine Ford parts for this so um, yeah, I'm going to get cracked into it and take you guys along for the ride. So what I'll do is I'm going to get the car jacked up so I can get the under tray off and then we'll take it from there. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Right, folks. So as you can see, car's now jacked up. Uh, it is sat on a pair of axle stands. I didn't need it massively high off the floor because it's just... Because uh, <clears throat> it doesn't need to... Well, it just doesn't need to be very high off the floor. So there we go engine under tray off it's looks like it's been rallying as this one uh plastic sump on it and then oil filters just right there one foot is so what i'll do is i'll grab the tools for under the sump plug. So, drain pan, and then a pair of long nose right angled pliers. So first off, little metal clip right there, and then what we do is because of our, because it's a plastic sump, it's literally just plastic bung in the bottom of the sump. Rotate it like so, and there we go. So it's the engine's warm, that's why it's splattered a bit. So now I've just got to get something to clean that up. That up. Not ideal, but happens sometimes. So what I'll do is I'll cut out now and then cut back in in a minute when we're about to do the oil filter. All right, so I'm back in. And now we just slot the bung back in, rotate it to where it stops, and then the little metal pin back in. Like. So, there we go. Now, what I'll use is a bit of brake cleaner. Just to click off. So that's that cleaned off. Now I'll get the tools for undoing the other foot. Way too tight, way too loose for one of these engines, which I'll explain in a minute. Right, so. Ford part number 2193141 oil filter for the 2 litre diesel engine right and what it says so first off you lubricate the ring fit it as you should and then you need to do three you need to tighten it to as tight as you can by hand and then three quarters of a turn more because these engines have a tendency for the oil filter to spin themselves off 
so when you see me actually turn tightening this nipping this up after it, you are actually meant to do that that is genuine Bob procedure for these engines so Lubricate the seal, like so. Move the glove. And then, fit the other filter. So. Nip as tight as I can by hand. A little bit extra. And to the far procedure. So that is the other filter. So now I'll just clean the area with a bit of brake cleaner. There we go. So now we're going up to the top. Right, so. Engine cover, St. ST. What, what I'll do is that actually I'll bring the tripod over, the big tripod, so you can see it from further away. There we go. Right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the engine cover off because we need it off in a minute for the fuel filter, but I'll just take it off now and then what I'll cut in is the oil quantity and grade off the comma website so then you know what we're actually putting in so we'll see you guys in a minute all right guys so this engine takes 6.1 liters of zero w30 oil so i've got my trusty jug and five liters of oil in it Go straight into yeah. Just filling it up and then I'll have to put another 1.1 in this bottle. I love I always do this and never actually check the uh, sump to make sure it's coming out, see if it's coming out of the bottom. One of these days it'll be uh, our forgot to put the sump plug in and uh, have a nice pool forming on my feet. Not today though, because I remember doing it. So that's five in. So I'll just put another 1.1 in this bottle and then be ready to rock and roll. So that is 6.1 litres right into the engine. So next up, I'm going to be doing the fuel filler, which is right here. So I need an 8 mil for them for the three bolts to take the cover off, and then a half inch ratchet with a 
some tools down, lift up, like so, and pull the fuel pipe out, slide out of the way, and then the same again with the other one, so it's just a bit, a bit of a different angle, like so, nice, straight in the face, straight in the bloody pan, in my mouth, and I'm right out of size of the hex on the oh, it's a 24, so I'll be back in a minute. Just not all of it. Little bits and pieces like that you don't remember every time. So yeah. Uh, and that's the rest. Now take it off. So, yep, that's there. I'm gonna go get a bin actually because this needs to be all. So here I have it, part of a lid. And the fuel filter we're using is a genuine file 2171748. So that's the fuel filter, it's just a paper element filter. So I'll run it and then fill it up. So pop that there. That trickle. I'll put it in there for the time being. Look at that. In comparison to that, you can see exactly how dirty it is. Put it back in there. Just slide back in, like so. Right. So ring up. Two pipes on, pushed in. Moving out of the way. Look on, clipped. That's that one. This is the only opening. So that is the fuel filter. It's changed. And what I'm going to do now is put the cover back on. And I know for a fact, that's right. With the amount, well, with earning one myself. Exactly how you do it. Because every time I do the oil and filter service, I change the fuel filter on mine. It would have been so easy. A nice one to do. Just 
these are all eight mils, by the way, if I didn't mention before. No, I don't. I think I did. That's the fuel filter done. So, fuel filter's done, oil, oil and filter's done. So, now what I can do is put the ST engine cup back on. Like so. Next up, we'll probably do air filter. This pollen filter is a bit of an awkward one. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll cut out now, I'll get the tools I need for the pollen filter. In fact, no, what I'll do is I'll come around and show you how to, I'll show you how to do the priming of the fuel filter. So go around to inside the car. So, mission on. So engine service now, that's because it's um, not got the fuel pressure off. And off. And off. And off. And that's, what, that's how I do it usually. And it probably will cut out when you start it. So it just needs to build oil pressure. Yeah, it'll say that. That's primed up, so yeah, that's how you do the priming procedure on them. So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll take you back around to the tripod. And then cut out in a minute, for a minute, and then cut back in when we're ready to do the air filler. So see you guys in a minute. Right folks, so I've lowered it down now because uh, everything underneath was finished with. Um, next up we're going to be doing the air filter, so air filter box. Uh, seven mil socket. It's a bit, it is quite, so if you compare it to, yeah, it's quite dirty. On the uh, Fard ones, they've normally got a locator lug, but it looks like they've, either, they've modified them so that they got rid of the lug, but still a little nodule out. Yeah, anyway, anywho, we'll uh, get this fitted. So you just slot it in. Onto there. Onto the farm, that's what we can take with it. One issue with it's a really tight fitting one, you can kink it to an angle and then it, the air, when the air filters in, it actually circulates and it can miss the. Um, Mass sensor and cause you to end up with a uh, uh, end one and one. Which you'd be surprised is probably the worst bit of the whole service on the place. Uh, that looks like it's on, but it's not. Stamp. So next up we'd be doing like screen wash level, coolant level, brake fluid level, topping those up, tyre pressures, making sure all tread depths are okay, making sure um, all brake pads are all good. It had an MOT today, so I know all the tread depths and the uh, tyre and the brakes are good. 
on it. So I will top up the levels and I will uh, in a minute go around and start and do the pollen filter. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Right folks, so I've taken so far the little trim that goes underneath here out, the little cover off, and then as you can probably see just there is where the pollen fil filter lives. Uh, this is going to be fun because it's an absolute ass of a job to do. Like I've not once watched myself do it because I can't get me in there at the same time. So I've just got to go by feel. Uh, there is a wire that always snags in where, which it's again snagged in bloody where. So you just got to pull it so far out, slide the wire over the top of the filter, and then just up for the best. Jamming up on it again. That's the thing, that's the thing. Fucking wire. Never. There we go, pollen filter out. Um, this pollen filter has never been changed. Can't stay to that. Minging. Right. So, you stay there. I'll go get the new one. And to point of note is, I always check which way the airflow is. So it's that way, as it goes. Now, this is where the fun begins. Shift you out the way a sec, I'm afraid, because I need to get in there somehow. Uh, that's slotted in at the bottom. Get this wire over the top of the filter. Hook the top of the filter into the There we go, and that's in there. So, for all those dealers that don't change the pollen filters, you slack, slack people. the cover back on piece of carpet slide over the metal bracket like a so and like a so and then the sl slots on there and there can you see what I'm doing I'm just moving can you see those little yellow lugs? So that's where the carpet is lots on, and then you've just got a pair of squeezing clips there and there. And there we go, pollen filter changed. So let's bring you back out of the queue. Well, look who's arrived. It's Joshua. Give him a wave. Say hello, everybody. So, yeah, that is the pollen filter changed and all the other bits done so yeah like service nice it is like my car but nice and clean that's exactly what i said it looks like my car and it's got uh same wheels on it same engine in it everything fancy isn't it lovely clean. yeah but it's clean it's only because he's just got back from body shop Has yeah look how clean josh is not in his pikey clothes or anything yeah i don't like them they stick on louvres off eBay, I think about 20 quid. I think, the, yeah, the, like mine, my windows are tinted on it, aren't they? Mine, mine are tinted and they should be gloss black instead of matte. 
So yeah, Josh is giving his approval on the uh, diesel STs. What we want to do? What? Swap the back bench for yours because yours has got repair on it. Not a bad shout. We don't do things like that. No, we don't. We don't. No. It's a joke, people. Don't get upset. Right. So yeah. Anyway, that's us finished, and finished. well, me finished. Josh is going to be out imminently, I suspect. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to be doing a bit on my vein. What are we doing? Roof. Oh, it's too hot for that. No, it is not. I'm too big to go up there. <laughs> you can do little bits on the ground then. Right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and we shall see you in the next one. Chowski.